Hello dear viewers, this is George from Ireland. Here I am outside John Keats house in Hampstead, which is a suburb of London. Uh, John Keats uh, didn't own this house, it belonged to a wealthy friend of his and he lived here for some time in 1819. So just in case uh, you don't know who John Keats was, um, I'll tell you that he was born in 1795 uh, in London. He was not from a privileged family. His father was an ostler, which is to say his father looked after horses. Um, John Keats did at least go to school. A lot of people didn't get to go to school at all back then. And um, then Keats, uh, he um, decided to become a doctor. So he went to study at Guy's Hospital. In those days, uh, do doctors seldom went to university as such. Hospitals organized their own education and the undergraduates took their lectures there. They shadowed doctors. They um, observed dissections and operations in theater. Um, Keats, he became an apothecary, that's a pharmacist along the way, and then he actually dropped out of his medical studies to concentrate on poetry. Well, John Keats um, is best known uh, for being a renowned member of the Romantic Movement, which is a late 18th century stroke early 19th century artistic movement, um, particularly prominent in poetry. When I say romantic, does, that doesn't mean that it focuses on intimate liaisons. It's just about celebrating nature and um, trying not to be too effete, too false, over-civilized, and uh, really making the most of human emotion. So uh, he really appreciated uh, sensuality, and he uses a lot of natural imagery in his work. Uh, oh, another thing I should point out is behind me, you will see a plum tree there. And under a plum tree here, he wrote one of his most renowned poems, Ode to a Nightingale. Um, now that is probably not the original one. Well, certainly not. It'd be very slow growing to be that size, uh, but it's a descendant of the original one because plum trees only lived to be about 40 years old. Another thing, there is a library just here that you can see at a public library, open till seven in the evening, and it's got a children's room. So if you bring your ankle biters here, you might let them amuse themselves in Yon Library whilst you look around Keats House. Though Keats House is only open till uh, 5 p.m. Uh, you can see the bedrooms, the kitchen, the drawing room, everything like that. Uh, more about John Keats. So um, he published poems by John Keats uh, when he was 20. And that was an instant sensation, got very good reviews in the newspapers. Some people scorned it for its lack of erudition. Now, of course, his schooling had mainly concentrated on the classics, which is Latin and ancient Greek uh, literature. So there are many allusions to that, but uh, it wasn't learned enough for um, some of the uh, intellectual snobs. Uh, what else about him? Ah, well, Endymion is one of his poems, which are the most um, obvious classical references. Um, it's about a Greek myth of a poet who falls asleep for years. Um, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. It shall never pass away into nothingness. That's how it opens. Um, Ode to a Grecian Urn is another famous poem by him. Uh, I'm just trying to think of any more right now. La Belle Dame Sans Merci, Lamia. So he's a friend of Samuel Taylor Coleridge, Lee Hunt, um, Percy Bysshe Shelley, uh, Lord uh, Byron. The Napoleonic Wars had just ended at that time in 1815, and that's when they went off to Italy, were traveling around there. But uh, he didn't have much money, he didn't have a wealthy aristocratic patron, and um, he was living in these uh, damp garrets and he fell ill with tuberculosis. Uh, and that's why he, he died in 1821. He's buried in the Protestant graveyard in uh, Rome, and on his headstone you read the words which he composed himself, Here lies one whose name is writ on water. Why did he say that uh, his name was written on water? Well, he was suggesting that uh, his work was so ephemeral that his memory would soon vanish after his death. However, in, in another letter he wrote, I believe I shall be remembered amongst the English poets after my death. So uh, that's John Keats, highly recommended to uh, visit this place. For the gardens alone, as you can see, it's, it's very appealing. It's surrounded by very spacious, uh, well-appointed houses. Hampstead Heath uh, is the uh, nearest tube station. Uh, what else should I point out about it? Oh, you know, it just cost a few pounds to get in. For further information about Keats and the house, you could look up the um, Keats Shelley Society. Uh, his friend, um, uh, Percy Bysshe Shelley, he composed Adonais, which is an elegy to John Keats. I weep for Adonais, he is dead. It goes on like that. It's very lengthy, but uh, flawless. Um, Anything else you should know? Well, there are lots of lectures on literary themes over there in the library. So, highly recommended paying a visit to uh, Keats House if you're an enthusiast of literature 
or uh, just someone who appreciates architecture and history. That's all from Keats House.